Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's me, Dan Box, Ring of Blood, back for another review. Um, so, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen my review for the Prism Mech Mod. If you haven't seen that, uh, after this video, be sure to check it out. Um, but in that video, I went on to say that um, in addition to buying the new RDA and the Mech Mod, I also bought a Juice. And right after I finished reviewing the Mech Mod, I would review the juice. I went to go do that, but then something came up and I had to actually stop filming. So like mid review, I had to stop filming and go take a, go take care of what I had to do. Um, so I'm sorry I didn't get to upload it that day, but I'm going to do it right now and nothing's going to interrupt my upload this time. So the juice that we're reviewing today is by Ritual and it's actually called Ritual. So, if you guys notice, first thing is that this bottle is empty. That's because I've been vaping on it a lot. But, uh, I do have a full, like, 30 milliliter unicorn bottle full of it right here. And that is what I used for dripping. So, this is the bottle. This is the juice that was in the bottle. Um, so, some facts about this juice. Um, it's supposed to be, like, a hard candy, like a sweet or sour hard candy. Whatever you taste, really. Some people say it tastes like sweet tarts. Some people say it tastes like Sour Patch Kids. Something like that. But it's supposed to be like a sweet or sour hard candy. Uh, so this is a 60 milliliter bottle. It cost me, I believe I got it on sale for maybe 20 bucks. But I'm pretty sure this sells anywhere between 20 and 30. So about you'll find anywhere between 20 and 25 normally. Um, so, uh, 60 mil in 3 milligrams of nicotine. Um, uh, it does not say the PGVG ratio on the bottle, but I looked it up and the PGVG ratio is actually 65-35 leaning towards VG. So 65-35, it's a blend that I haven't really dealt with much, but we're going to see how the flavor is. I mean, well, I'm not going to see, I've already been vaping on this, like I told you guys, but, um, I'll tell you guys what it's like. So, uh, to vape this, we're going to be using... The Mutation X V4S atop the Prism Mech Mod. Um, this battery has, is at about 75% life, um, but it should still be fine. So take that into consideration. Also take into consideration that this is unregulated. So whatever the coils are putting out, that's going to contribute to how much power this thing puts out. The reason I'm not putting it on top of my Kangertech sub box or my HPRIV is because the way I built my coils, this thing dries out really fast and loses flavor really fast. If you hit it um, at like a normal uh, wattage. So for example, this is a 0.2 ohm coil. So I could hit this anywhere between like 50 and 70 watts comfortably. At 50 watts, it still dries out way too fast. The coils are actually heating up really fast. Um, so it's going to get a burn taste more quickly. So I thought that the best solution would be to hit out of a low output device. In this case, that would be this. So I'm still gonna get, it still has a good body. It still gives you a lot of good flavor. So we'll just take that in consideration when we're rating things like the body. So let's get into the review. Oof, sorry, my phone. So what I'm smelling is definitely like a, like a, it almost sounds, it smells like a, like a green apple candy or something along those lines, but I definitely smell like a hard candy, maybe like a, like a Jolly Rancher, but like a little more powerful, something like that. It does smell really nice though. Definitely a candy flavor. Let's do a finger test. Definitely a hard candy. Um, not really so much green apple, but for sure it is um, definitely like a hard candy, like a sweet hard candy. Um, very powerful, um, but good so far. So we already know what the setup is. Um, let's go ahead and drip this. a little bit this is actually already pretty saturated so just a little bit more to saturate it so that's what our coils are looking like it's what our cotton looks like 
quite saturated. A little bit of discoloration because I did vape with something else for a little bit. But it's been like 90% this. So let's go ahead and take a pull. Uh, this is Ritual by Ritual. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. So that's a very powerful, very, very powerful, very rich, um, uh, hard candy. Um, it's super sweet. Um, so sweet to the point where it tastes a little bit sour. Like it's very, it just feels very, very sugary. Definitely feel it in the back of your throat, especially on an RDA. Um, you can really feel the harshness of the sugariness right in the back of your throat. For sure. It's a very sweet vape. Good though. Alright, let's do a retro hill. Um, if you guys haven't already seen that, I am still congested. It is still allergy season and it will be allergy season for me probably until the fall. Um, so I can only breathe out of this nostril, so you're only going to see a nose jet out of this nostril. But I'll still be able to get a pretty good flavor for it. So let's get a retrohale. It's definitely mellowed out a little bit. Retrohale is super clean. Um, I don't get a lot of harshness in the back of my throat, but I do definitely... Feel the sweetness still on my tongue. It's still a nice flavor. Definitely on the front part of my lips, I'm still tasting it. It's just, it's super clean. It's very clean. Um, okay. So let's see. Um, it's really... Oh, all I can say about it for now. Sorry, there seems to be some sort of like lint or dirt in here. I don't know why. Um, anyway, let's move on to rating. Uh, let's go to the body. Keeping in mind that this battery is probably not at full charge. The body is okay. I would love to put this on top of my, um, like a Kanger Tech drip box or something, but I know it would dry out real fast or catch on fire. It's caught on fire a few times, even though I'm only hitting it like 50 watts. I just definitely need to do a new build. I know it's not really safe, but I'm keeping it very low for the time being so that it won't blow up or won't catch on fire. I can fire this as long as I want and it probably won't, and it won't catch on fire. Um, but I can fire it on this for like maybe five seconds and it will start to, the coils will definitely start to get red and heat up. So on this, it's not a problem. And that's the only reason again that I'm not putting it on that. But the body for now is not bad, especially at the battery life and the uh, amount of power coming through this. There's not a whole lot of power coming through this, but like I said, I do need to build new coils. And I will be doing that soon. So being fair... And keeping in mind that the battery is not fully charged and all the other factors that I just went through, I'm going to give the body an 8 out of 10 because I have seen this at full performance and the body does get much better. Uh, it is not fantastic by any means, but it is a normal sized body. It's nothing special, but it's definitely normal sized. So the body is going to get an 8 out of 10. Um, let's go back to the retro hail. Retrohale is very, very clean. I have no problems with the retrohale. Even with my allergies and my asthma acting up, my asthma has been really bad today. So this is actually doing nothing. This is not agitating my asthma at all or my allergies. Not making me any more stuffy. This is the normal amount of like, kind of like condensation on the outer part of your nostril as everyone will probably get with a very powerful nose jet of a, of a retrohale.
So stuff like that. Otherwise, it's very sugary. It stays on your tongue real nice, but the retrohale is super clean. The retrohale is going to get a 10 out of 10. It's very, very clean. I don't know if I've ever given a retrohale a 10 out of 10 before, but this one definitely gets a 10 out of 10. Um, let's go to uh, overall flavor and wrap up the review. Sorry, we need another drip. It's not bad. It is very, very sugary. It tastes quite artificial, as do pretty much all candies. All hard candies taste artificial, because they're pretty much all artificial. And it definitely tastes like that. But in terms of being like an authentic hard candy, that is what it is supposed to taste like. Um, very, very sweet, very, very sugary, not so much sour, but definitely a sweet candy. I'm definitely tasting a sweet candy. It kind of has the sweetness of a Jolly Rancher, but the kick of like a Smarty or a Sweet Tarts. Whatever you guys know, like where I am, we had candies called Smarties, uh, very powdery little candies. For a long time, if you guys looked on the internet, some stupid like middle school kids were like vaping Smarties and like could have killed themselves. But anyway, that's kind of what they taste like. Or kind of like Sweet Tarts, which is probably what you guys would know. Only it's less sour, just very, very sugary. So guys, overall, the overall flavor and my overall rating for Ritual, by Ritual, is going to be a... I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. It's delicious. It's very, very good, but it's super strong. Probably not something... Well, yeah, probably not something I would put in a huge sub ohm tank with the Cloud Beast King, but maybe something smaller, like the Arctic tank or the iJust 2, something with a smaller juice capacity. Um, I really don't know what else to say. Um, that's really all that, all that is, is super sweet hard candy. So guys, this is my review for Ritual by Ritual, um, hard candy. Uh, go ahead and pick up a bottle. I recommend it. It's an eight and a half out of 10. That's pretty good. Uh, anything that I rate seven or above, I would recommend that you guys would buy. If it's like six or six and a half, six, sometimes six and a half, I'll recommend, but normally six and a half, normally six or below, I really don't personally recommend because I wouldn't like them. But I like this juice, just maybe not something I would buy again for a while. It's definitely... It might be an all-day vape for you, but it's definitely not something I could chain vape over and over and over again. Like, I don't chain vape with this thing. I chain vape with my Kangertech or my HPRIV or the Cloud Beast. Um, but yeah, it's a delicious flavor. Go ahead and pick it up. Uh, so guys, this has been my review for Ritual by Ritual. I'm hoping that's the last time I have to say that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like, subscribe, comment, check out my other videos, all that good shit. I will be posting another review tonight. Probably not as soon as we would like, but I'm going to go ahead and run out. Today is Sunday, so vape shops are closing in the next half hour. It's about 7.30 right now. Uh, I'm going to try to get over to the vape shop. I'm going to pick up some new Claptons and put it in this thing. I'm going to get some Claptons and finally put in some, get some good body out of this thing. I'll do like four wrap Claptons and I'll show you guys the build when I'm done with it. But for now, guys, thank you so much for watching. Like always, I'll end you on a vape. And how are we going? Take it easy, guys.